Right, so welcome to this review. Um, these are the bits of fun that I do on the blog. I've, I've done it on the written blog for a number of years. Every now and again, you know, a company gets in touch and they ask me if I want to review a product. Um, and if I can relate it back to fishing nine times out of ten, I, I will, you know, say yeah and have a look at it and give an honest review on it. This time, it's a company um, called Thesis, and the company that's been asked me to do the review is Fishing Republic, and I'll put a link to both products down in the description below okay so I've had these two products now for a number about two or three weeks and I've used them you know as you'll see in this video in all aspects of me fishing the two products as I say by a company called Thesis and it's a waist thing which is on the back which I put on the back when I carry it a waist thing and a unhooking carp cradle nice and easy to carry just carry it under your arm or there's two straps and it goes like that easily on your shoulder when you want to carry it to the peg. When you get to the peg, we all want to be quick in this type of fishing. So the first plus point that I found with it is how easy it is to set up. I get to be peg, these two clips, you can see there, clips, unhook that clip. One on the other side, take your waist thing and hopefully use that later. Put that to one side, you're left with two bits of the product. The base of the mat, which has velcro on the bottom to easily stick it down to the base, and as you can see, very thick and offers plenty of protection to the fish. So you get your peg and you want to be set up easy. We want to be fishing as quick as possible. You get your waist thing like that. Put it on the floor. Put the base in. Get your bit of water. Wet it down, and then leave that at the side. As you can see there, in what five, fifteen seconds, something like that, we now have somewhere safely and securely to look after the fish. It's. You know, I'll go into the, what, what I found, how I found it useful. As I say, I'm not a day-to-day, -day, you know, specimen carp angler. Um, I have used the product in all aspects of my fishing, from dealing with numbers of small fish on a venue like this, where you put, you know, when it's the weather hasn't been great for really showing that, but when you're getting a lot of fish, a lot of small fish, you know, 10 to 20 fish a session, and the odd bigger one then you are almost process, processing the fish, get them on the mat, and they're nice and safe. So I found it fantastic for from a blogging point of view for allowing me to be more prepared. Last year they used a flat sling on the ground, and for the pike, in, which are generally calm, it was okay. But for the carp fish and the smaller ones that flap about a lot, I did struggle. This, once they're in that mat with its high sides, eliminates that, it eliminates any chance that the fish can slide off the mat and damage itself on the ground uh, makes my not a job because blogging is not a job but my um, yeah well job, job of blogging a lot easier that is the biggest benefit I found how you can easily you know look after the fish on the bank and you know you, you feel like you can prepare when it's on the bank and you're not worried about the fish it's one less thing to worry about you want to get we all want to get the nice shots holding it up um, this makes it a lot easier you're not worrying about the fish sliding off the mat
it's very spacious obviously there's small carp in it now but it makes life very easy even with the small fish you get them in it and they can't damage themselves and they, they do flap about a lot but yeah it keeps the fish away from from harm and keeps them out of danger I say, there's a lot of a lot of small carp in here they say he's gone down there but well, I see it's well padded on the bottom all to fish up only a small one when you're catching lots of these this bat makes life really easy it's in there unhooked held up for the picture if you want to take one and then back into the into the water really is going to help me a lot this this year cart cradle you just have a look at uh, moved on to the actual waist thing as it comes comes in a foot its own bag it's all neat and tidy as i say this fits nicely when it's all tucked away in the carp cradles the way that transports very lightweight there's, there's no weight to it you can carry it under your arm easily you know when you think about the amount of gear that you have to carry sometimes in fishing you want it to be lightweight but functional it's certainly lightweight there is no weight at all to it so simply like that and you put that to one side and I think as you can see miles big enough for anything that you're going to catch so why is me which tells you <laughs> you fit anything in it <laughs> and it's also it's got the width to it as well so how wide it is it's got two flotation um, in it so you wanted to rest the fish in the margin say you got a nice fish and you just want to you know, get your stuff together and it's perfect resting a fish in the margin while you are you know waiting to get the gear ready if it's a you know, special capture it's got zips all around you can see there it zips all the way around so there's no chance of the fish getting out so when you've got the fish in the margin nesting there's no chance of the fish getting out and when you're actually weighing the fish there's no chance of the fish getting out as well the actual sling got loads of mesh on it you know protective mesh for the fish but lots of holes obviously when the fish is in the margin you want a lot of water in there so the fish can you know um, rest properly when it's inside it no point there's no holes in it obviously there's going to be no water so in the margin you want plenty of water going through the net out of the water obviously you don't want a special 20 30 pound carp or pb to be 15 pound a carp and 10 pound of water so when you want to weigh your fish there's plenty of holes all in the bottom of it there where the water is going to drain out really fast. The water will, does drain out of this really, really fast. Right, so I've got a fish that we want. I want to weigh. Oh, it's it's massive, like, but it's. I want to know whether it's a double or not because I do count the amount of doubles that I catch on here, just to keep a tally. So what I do, put the sling like that, and say the water drains out of it really fast, so it's nice and wet. Put it over them. The, um, the carp cradle so the ridges on the carp cradle make a recess in the middle get your fish in the sling and so the, the actual cradle protects it coming out you got two straps dead easy it's going just over 10 pound
Plugs are through really quick. And we'll hold it up for a nice shot. And there we go. She's obviously been listening to the smaller ones who keep flapping everywhere. But like I say in this, can't come to no damage, it's all wetted down. We hold it up for the shot. There we go. Just over ten pound of carp. Right, that's the fan on that. Um all the carp. I say safely done in the carp scene that have been sent to review. Um yeah. So that's the final net of carp all put together.